the savage robber, puny but vicious, a deadly dromaeosaur from the late Cretaceous. This is the Atrociraptor. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. Today, we are doing an episode all about Jurassic World's new villain raptor, the Atrociraptor. You know and love it if you just watch Jurassic World Dominion. But before we jump into the episode, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single quick dive that we do on any dinosaur because we are covering everything in the Jurassic World Dominion, Jurassic Park, and Jurassic World universe. So please make sure you leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up, comment down below a prehistoric or dinosaur creature that you would like to see us cover in the future. And with that being said, let's jump right into a quick dive on the Atrociraptor. I'm actually going to pull in a surprise guest right now, awesome Pokemon YouTuber named Hidden Ghastly. Get on in here! What Tell people that? about the Atrociraptor. Take care of the show! <laughs> Atrociraptor derived from the Latin words Atrox, which means savage and raptor, which means robber or hunter. Okay, so where and when did the Atrociraptor live? This creature lived in what is now Western Canada during the... I don't know how to say that word. All right. I did pretty good, I think. You better did, than the last time. Good job. Go check out the channel down below in the description. Okay, so where and when did the Atrociraptor actually live? Thank you, Mr. Gastly. I appreciate it. This creature lived in what is now Western Canada during the Mastriciation, age of the late Cretaceous, about 70.6 to 66 million years ago, so right there at the tail end of the Cretaceous period. So far, there's only one specimen of a Atrociraptor. It was discovered by Wayne Marshall in 1995 in the Horseshoe Canyon Formation in Alberta, Canada. So what did this creature actually look like? Okay, so the Atrociraptor was a dromaeosaur. It belonged to a family of flightless theropod dinosaurs. It was a pretty small creature, estimated to be 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters long and weighed about 33 pounds or 15 kilograms. The Atrociraptor had a large skull and its snout was deep and short. It had a sharp serrated set of teeth that curved backwards at an angle to the jawline. And the studies show that its teeth were larger than most dromaeosaurs. Just imagine a rake but with sharp blades at the end with a deadly overbite. And like most dromaeosaurs, it had a long S-curved neck, a long slender tail and short forelimbs. It had claws at the end with a larger claw on its second finger. It also had a large recurved claw on the second toe of each foot. Now, did the Atrociraptor ever get famous? Well, this is a tricky one because if you watch Jurassic World Dominion, it's probably a yes. If you haven't watched anything to do with that, it's probably a no. Actually, there's not really any mention of this creature in popular culture. It's really not well known and its cousin, the Velociraptor, is the one that usually takes the cake. And it turns out Blue the Velociraptor isn't the only dromaeosaur appearing in Jurassic World Dominion. My friends, meet the Raptor Squad. Wait. Not to be confused with the 2015 Jurassic World movie's Raptor Squad, also known as Blue's Pack, which was the pack of four Velociraptors that lived in the Jurassic World theme park, you know, Blue, Delta, Echo, and Charlie. Now, in Jurassic World Dominion, it will feature the new Raptor Squad, four Atrociraptors named Ghost, Tiger, Red, and Pantera. These raptors are depicted to have different skin colors. Pantera and Tiger would be orange with black stripes, Ghost is white, while Red would be striped light brown and red. There's theories online saying that the color patterns from the Raptor Squad in Jurassic World Dominion, the Atrociraptor Squad, come directly from the raptors from Isla Sorna, meaning that the raptors from Jurassic Park 3 and the raptors from the Lost World, namely the tiger striped raptors and the white raptors, are going to be directly connected to the Atrociraptors. That is awesome. And in addition, one other new amazing thing that has happened for the Atrociraptor in recent media is Prehistoric Planet, Apple TV Plus's new historically accurate TV series that is going to be depicting a Atrociraptor. When the time this episode is recorded, we haven't seen Prehistoric Planet yet, but it'll definitely be out by the time that this episode is out. What we know so far is that the Prehistoric Planet depiction of the Atrociraptor will be fully feathered, and it looks absolutely incredible. We are so excited to see Atrociraptor depicted in more media moving forward. But wait, this diminutive dinosaur will be making its screen debut in the upcoming Jurassic World Dominion, and it might already be out if you're watching this episode now. So the Atrociraptor is one of the new dinosaurs that will be introduced in Jurassic World Dominion. In the trailer, we see that Owen Grady, the character of Chris Pratt, is on a motorcycle being chased by a pack of Atrociraptors in the streets of Malta. So it seems like the dinosaurs in Jurassic World Dominion are roaming freely and are living alongside human beings. Imagine that. Imagine looking out of your window, out of your apartment, seeing a Pyroraptor looking back at you, and an Atrociraptor comes in and goes... But hold up! The Atrociraptor in this movie doesn't actually have feathers, and it's not really small. It actually kind of looks like a Velociraptor in Jurassic Park. So what's going on? 
Well, it's time for me to remind you again that Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, the universe that they are in, are based on fictional events, and that means that scientific accuracy is usually not upheld. Alteration to size and the physical form of the dinosaurs is usually done to make these creatures look more scary. In this case, it probably makes it more scary and badass. All right, let's go back into the Atrociraptor's popularity. Because it was included in Dominion, this dinosaur got its own version of the toys. Here is Ghost the Atrociraptor, which is going to be featured in the new movie. But we also got toy sets from Lego, Captives, Imaginex, Takara Tommy, a bunch of toys showing you a bunch of renders of Jurassic World Dominion's Atrociraptor. So now let's move into the Atrociraptor's diet and behavior. The Atrociraptor was obviously a carnivore, a meat eater. It probably fed on smaller dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. It had sharp teeth and claws and it would have been perfect for grabbing prey and slicing and tearing off chunks of flesh. So far, it's not known whether the Atrociraptor was aggressive, but given its carnivorous diet alongside the claws and the sharp teeth and the overall raptorian build, it probably was a pretty aggressive animal and probably invaded animals and invaded its territory. And that's all for the Atrociraptor, a fairly new creature that's introduced to the Jurassic World franchise. We don't know much about it. There's not a lot of scientific information. This episode was kind of hard to put together, but we did it nonetheless because we want to tell you guys all about the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park creatures. That's all. I want to make sure that you guys subscribe and turn those notifications. Also, leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below. A dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion or prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. If you guys want to support this channel, you can by sending us some money in our PayPal link down below in the description, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.